By the way, I don't think I already said their names, but um, this one is Laurel and this one is Hardy. I mean, <laughs> Holly. Good morning, welcome back. I'm here with another Rainbow High video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Devoyas twins. Really quick before I get started on that though, um, who's excited for Monster High? Like, people have been going to VidCon and they have like this whole like Monster High booth and everything. I wish I could go, I didn't plan it out right. I never know when these things are happening ahead of time. So yeah, that's on me I guess. But um, yeah, so I didn't plan right and I wasn't able to go. But um, there's this like whole Monster High booth. There's not really anything having to do with the dolls. It's just promoting the movie as far as I can tell. Um, but uh, I've been following Zombie X Corn's like, uh, Instagram stories and stuff like that uh, to see like what's going on. It looks pretty cool. Um, the music, like that one song coming out of the dark is a bop. Like I, it, it is stuck in my head and I've been humming it and singing it like for the past few days now. Here I am, I'm coming out of the dark. And I'm really excited just for that song. Um, I'm reserving all judgments for the movie until it actually comes out, but apparently it's coming out on October 6th. So really excited for that. And I I hope it does well just because of the franchise. Like I want the franchise to do well because I want the dolls to do well. So it's like, I only want the movie to do well because of dolls. <laughs> anyway, brings us back to the topic of today's video. So let's look at some dolls. Um, anyway, I've got the um, Devious Twins, Devious, De Devious, yeah, the, uh, the Devious Twins from Rainbow High. And this was one of those things where when I first saw them, I fell in love with the dolls and um, the thing is you've got two dolls here. One is all of like the warm tone colors. So you've got like the pink, red, orange, and yellow. And then the other one is a cool tone color. So like the blue, green, pink, sorry, blue, green, and purple and teal. And um, I was like, I have to have the, the cool tone one. These are literally all my favorite colors. She is my favorite color scheme. And I knew that I wanted her, but I was like, I don't need the warm tone color one. I just want the cool tone color one. Then I saw people doing reviews when they first came out like a long time ago when they actually came out. Um, and I, I saw pictures of this warm tone girl and I fell in love with her because look at her, she's gorgeous. So yeah, um, I was like, okay, well I plan to get them at some point in time. Um, and their price was like $50, which isn't bad because for two dolls, that's $25 per doll. That's not bad, especially since you get an extra pair of shoes and a little fabric purse and everything. So it's a, you know, it's a cute little set. So I had planned on getting this, but I just, every time I see them, I'm like, eh, it's a lot of money at one time type thing. Finally, I was able to get them on Amazon because they had the Amazon warehouse deals and um, I was able to get them at a much lower price. I got them up for $30. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the Amazon deals, by the way, whenever you go to buy something on Amazon, when you go down to like add to cart below that button, there should be another option that says like view other listings or something like that see other selling options uh, and sometimes it'll say buy used at like a lower price or whatever click on that click on like not add to cart right away click on the thing to see other options because then you'll see all of the listings Amazon as a store is not the only company that is selling these through the Amazon website and one of them um, sometimes if they happen to have like a damaged package or one of them that's been returned or something like that because it has a defect um, they will resell it at a much lower price but it'll it'll say it's from Amazon warehouse that is still being sold from Amazon but usually it means that there's something wrong with it like the package may have been opened or then the box might have been crushed in the warehouse or something like that um, a lot of times the item is still in a sellable condition though so you're able to sa save some money doing it that way it is local to my understanding so you're not going to see like all of the warehouse deals in the country when you go on it's usually going to be based off of your um 
local area so for me it's going to show like the any of the amazon distribution centers in my area in northern california but just so you know that is an option that's a way that you can save some money and i do that all the time when i'm going when i uh am shopping for dolls online um that being said i saw these and i you know i figured you know what because of the price i'm going to take the chance i'm going to buy the twins and um just hope that they look good and they do like i'm looking at their face just you know like within the box the face Face paint looks pretty good. Usually I don't like to order dolls online if I'm able to get them in stores. I prefer to get them in stores just because I can see the face <laughs> and make sure that the face paint doesn't look wonky or anything like that. I've, I've mentioned this before in my other videos, but anyway, so here is the back of the box. Uh, I really like this artwork. It's so cute. They're like holding pinkies because they're sisters and I don't know. I almost, I was looking at these. I don't really care for the outfits. Maybe I'll feel different once I get them out of the box. But um, when I, when you look at like the art, the artwork, the outfits look so much better. Um, but like the execution on these outfits, it's not that they're like badly designed. They're just not a style that I like. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get them out of the box. The dolls seem to be perfectly fine, even though I got this from the Amazon warehouse deals. It looks like what the issue is, is a lot of these come off. These like plastic things, they come off in the warehouse. So like a couple of them were missing. This one came off and they tried to tape it back on. Um, <laughs> and then the box kind of looks a little scuffed up and stuff like that. But it doesn't look like it's been opened. Like the plastic seat are still there and everything so I think it I just got a discount because the box isn't like in perfect condition so yeah I feel like I got lucky so let me go ahead and get these dolls out of the box because I really want to see what they look like and um, I want to check out their hair because that's the reason that I got them is because I love their hair so anyway I'm gonna get them out of the box really quick and I will be right back all right, I've got them out of the box. So, but first I want to show you all the accessories because I I genuinely forget. <laughs> if I jump into showing you the doll, there's going to be inevitably something I forget to show you. So they each come with a comb. They are just a standard rainbow high comb. By the way, I don't think I already said their names, but um, this one is Laurel and this one is Hardy. I mean, <laughs> Holly. <laughs> I don't know why I just keep, keep thinking of Laurel and Hardy. But um, anyway, so yeah, so this is Laurel and then this is Holly. Um, and anyway, so the cool, everything that's cool tones here, the silver, the purple, the blue, green, stuff like that, that is going to be Holly's stuff. And anything that is warm toned, like the gold, the, you know, pink, orange, yellow, that stuff is going to be for Laurel. They each come with a stand, of course, that matches the comb, standard rainbow high stands. And then they come with these really cute little accessories. So they have these little purses here. These are so cute. And um, at first I was like, oh, look, they have like, you know, their, their initials on it. But then this is R. I was like, oh no, okay. So it's like RH, like rainbow high. But um, anyway, yeah, these are the really cute little fabric bags that I like. They are closed with Velcro, but they do open and they are functional. What's in here? Oh, it's just a little piece of cardboard to keep it um, structurally. I'm just going to leave it in there for now. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's got the Velcro on it. It's made from like a faux leather kind of material. It's stitched together. I mean, there's a couple like loose stitches here and there and stuff like that, but whatever. I'm not like too worried. I got these for $30. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but anyway, so this is Laurel's bag and it's like this like really pretty metallic red color with gold detailing. This looks like it would work for um, Apple White from Ever After High, just saying. And then here is Holly's bag. I really like this. The stitching is blue. The material is like this metallic purple with the black handbag. This one looks like it'd be good for Raven Queen. Just saying. Also, I'm noticing other things like, um, connections to Ever After High as well because um, her name is Holly and uh, Ever After High had a set of twins and one of them's name was Holly as well. The other one was not Laurel though. The other one was Poppy. But yeah, I love fabric bags like this. I don't know why. It's not like I do anything with them. Like if any, like sometimes I don't even like display my dolls holding their bags, but I still like them. Like these are cute. I like it. They also come with these like really cute uh, boxes, these little acrylic boxes, which honestly, I like because I could use these for like office supplies like to put on my desk like have paper clips or like other stuff in these like I could totally reuse these and I, pro I am going to reuse them um, and there was another one I gotta figure out there was another one that I had that had acrylic boxes like this and now I don't remember which one it was 
or was it even Rainbow High? I don't know. Anyway, but um, I used it for something. Uh, I think I put thumbtacks in it. Um, but I like these. I like these a lot. They are reusable. Uh, and each of these come with like a little accessory or something. So they each get a second pair of earrings and a second pair of shoes. So here is Laurel's and the other one, of course, was Holly's. So I will be showing you like the extra earrings and shoes and stuff on the dolls um, a little bit later. But first, let's take a look at the dolls themselves. So I'm just going to show you one doll at a time and then we'll kind of go over everything. So to start off, let me zoom in here. Woo! These dolls are so stinking cute. Like, look at her face. I love that she has like the the warm tone rainbow basically for her eye makeup. Um, also, this color coral for their lips, I love it so much. And it works for both of them. Um, but her hair is amazing, by the way. Like, this is so pretty. Like, really, any Rainbow High doll that has a high ponytail like this, I'm going to want because it's going to be really long and it's not going to be too thick. Um, I don't know why. I just, I love the high ponytails for Rainbow High dolls. Uh, anyway, so their hair is amazing. There is no product in it at all. No hair gel, no glue, no nothing. Um, even in the front, like for this, they have the hair kind of like sewn in right here. There's like a little thread holding it in place. Um, but yeah, there's no hair gel or anything so um yeah that's that's amazing and their hair is extremely soft because you know rainbow high high quality nylon hair oh my gosh looking at her i want to change her name because like i'm like laurel isn't my favorite name <laughs> plus it's kind of like weird to say it so um i, I kind of want to call her phoenix just because first of all i love that name phoenix is such a pretty name and she reminds me of a phoenix like with her colors she almost reminds me of moltres but um i yeah i, I love the fact that she she reminds me of Phoenix and that's kind of why I fell in love with her also. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to change her name to Phoenix. <laughs> and then here is Holly. Um, she is just so pretty. All of her cool tone colors. I love this. Look at, just look at the colors. Look at the colors here. These are so pretty between the purple and the blue and the teal and the green. Like, Oh, this is my favorite color right here. All of this is my favorite color. <laughs> and then here's Holly's face up close. Now I know for both of them, neither of them have like 100% flawless faces. Um, there's like little things here and there that are like a smidgen off, but I think the quality control on these was still pretty good because honestly, looking at this face, like I don't really see flaws necessarily. There's just like certain areas where like the paint is like slightly aligned, you know, like off a little bit. But honestly, the way that it ended up happening, it just creates a little bit more personality for her. I love her piercing blue eyes. You know what I want to do? I've never done this before, um, but I've seen people switching the eyes on Rainbow High dolls. I almost want to switch their eyes out. I feel like she would look better with the piercing blue eyes and she she would look better with the brown eyes. I don't know, maybe I'll do that because honestly, I mean, I want to kind of like make these my own characters anyway, um, just because I, I'm not a fan of these characters in the cartoon. They're like the antagonists. So um, yeah, I, I kind of want to make them my own thing anyway. So maybe I'll do that. If I if I decide to um, switch their eyes out, maybe I'll do that. Um, and if I do, I'll like put pictures on Instagram or whatever. By the way, if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, I'm just at Chad Marvelous and I'm almost at a thousand followers on there so go follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I post just random pictures of my collection on there and random selfies and stuff like that so it's I usually I mostly use it for my stories um, and I do a lot of my doll hunting on Instagram stories rather than on YouTube just because it's easier um, so yeah if you want to check me out go follow me on Instagram but um, anyway but yeah same thing no product in the hair at all this hair is gorgeous it does need some TLC see I am going to be washing out this hair still and trying to fix it up because like the the bangs are kind of messy for each of them and I think that the curls can be a little better defined and stuff like that so I will be definitely fixing them plus the way that they were in the box the ponytails kind of split in this weird way and I don't really want it to be split like that um, 
like they look really good but I'm just gonna fix them up so they look even better <laughs> <laughs> now when it comes to the outfits and accessories they both have exactly the same things um, because they are twins uh, the only thing is obviously for Laurel or Phoenix as I'm gonna call her now um, she has all of like the warm tone obviously and then um, Holly has all the cool tones but let's take a look at their details so they both have these giant door knocker earrings Laurel has the R and then Holly has the H so it's for rainbow high they both have this cute little necklace that has the matching letter uh, in the same plastic and it's put on with a it's like a choker but it's put on with this ribbon that's tied in a uh, bow in the back they both have these little outfits that what do they even say so I see magic rainbow sparkle and then basically the same words backwards so they go forward and then backwards over and over just kind of in the pattern in a metallic paint and it's really cool because they fade from color to color so like it's green over here then blue then purple and then for this one it's pink and then orange and yellow or gold their outfits are two separate pieces that velcro in the back and their shoulders have these like really big structured bows and you can kind of see on the inside there's like there's a plastic piece and then there's like a mesh material kind of lining it and then they both come with these like strappy shoes and then they of course match the colors so this one fades from like a pink to orange to yellow and then hers um, go from a green to a blue to a purple another little detail that I really like is that they have their nails painted and they're kind of like a little rainbow when you put them next to each other so you've got like the pink orange yellow green blue teal purple you know it's kind of cute I like that now I'm not really a fan of these outfits I don't know why I think it's the matchy matchy like all of this pattern print on it um, it's just too much like I think I would have liked them better if instead of being like black with the metallic paint if it was just like the solid metallic fade from green to blue to purple type thing I think I would have liked that a lot more but um, also like it doesn't look bad in fact it's actually pretty cool with these bows on the shoulders and stuff it's a really cool outfit and like I was saying earlier in the artwork I really like the way that it's designed um, it's just not really my style um, the way that these are done so I think also because they kind of look fancy like they always look like they're dressed up for something some kind of going out to the club or like a cocktail party or I don't even know what but um, yeah I'm definitely gonna be redressing them in something else that's a little bit more casual but that's just my style now looking at the like extra earrings and shoes they come with I'm gonna show you what these look like on the dolls um, I don't really care for their second shoes I like their first shoes much much better but I like the second pair of earrings better so I'm actually gonna take these giant RH earrings out and I'm gonna put these earrings on both of them um, and I'll be right back so I can show you what all the second accessories look like okay so I've got their it's not really their second outfit but their second set of accessories so here they are um, I think these are so much better than the giant door knocker earrings like earrings I'm weird about earrings on dolls because they always get caught in the hair and I mean it's fine when they're just like displayed on the shelf but still like it you know they they always have to be like the last thing you put in when you go to display a doll just because um, otherwise like they they mess up the hair somehow <laughs> <laughs> but um, these look so much better um, I do like the fact that they're studs but they stick out so weird from the front like from the side they look good but I just I wish that instead of the the hole for the earrings being like done straight in I wish it was kind of like at an angle kind of just because if it was at an angle the earrings instead of facing out could face just forward a little bit and they would have fit a little more flush on the side of their head because like right now these earrings are like sticking out and they kind of remind me of Doctor Who um, like the with David Tennant and when they had like those ear things that started like turning everybody into Cybermen um, that's what those remind me of so <laughs> not that that's a bad reference because I enjoy Doctor Who um, but anyway here's the second pair of shoes I don't hate them 
they're cute. They kind of, I mean, they're, they're clearly designed after a designer shoe of some kind or a style that already exists. I don't like the toe cap is what it is. I think I would rather have without the toe cap. Um, but I do like the, the rainbow effect that's happening underneath. Oops, she dropped one. All right, take two. Um, but like the rainbow effect that's happening underneath, um, you can kind of see the different variations of color. So they are cute. I just, I really like their strappy heels better. I think that they just look nicer. Oh, and there was something I forgot to mention. So these dolls, this two pack when it came out, it did say that they are a special edition. And um, I'm noticing that a lot of dolls are special edition if they're not part of a series of six. Um, so special edition doesn't necessarily mean too much other than they are special. Um, they do have the other twins, the Shadow High twins, which I absolutely plan on getting at some point but they are $70 like the set is a whole $20 more expensive than these ones were when they first came out for retail and as much as I love those dolls like that's a lot for me and I and especially since they don't come with the extra accessories like they don't come with an extra pair of earrings um, I don't even know if they come with a purse they don't come with a second pair of shoes um, I think they do come with stands but that's pretty much it so they come with less um, Although, like, it could be argued that their outfits are more detailed. So, like, I guess there is that. But, yeah, they are definitely a lot more expensive than these ones were. So, I'm going to have to wait until I can get a good deal on them, just like I did for these ones. I was going to mention the articulation, but they just have the regular rainbow high articulation. Uh, no no uh, articulated ankles or anything. Double jointed knees. Bend at the elbows and the hips and the shoulders and everything and the wrists, just like normal. And then, of course, they do have the neck articulation, which I like. I think once Rainbow High did that, um, I started to like them so much more because the first Rainbow High dolls, if you remember, actually, if you've seen the my first Rainbow High videos, when Rainbow High first came out, um, I reviewed Skylar, Poppy, Sunny, and Violet. And those first four dolls that I got, none of them had the neck articulation. And that didn't come in until partway through Wave 2 because I think even my Karma who was from wave two, she didn't have the neck articulation and neither did my Kaya Hart doll because I bought her around that same time. Um, and then I was kind of like falling out of love with Rainbow High. But once I started getting the dolls that did have the neck articulation, I don't know why, but it made a whole big, li I don't know why, but it made a huge difference for me just for posability and stuff like that. But anyway, I love these dolls. I think every time I get a new Rainbow High doll, I'm like, this is my new favorite Rainbow High doll. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, this is my new favorite rainbow high doll um i want to say that these are my new favorite rainbow high dolls i don't know if that's like completely accurate because i do really like margo and um i definitely fell in love with hallie like she is absolutely up there as one of my favorites uh these are definitely some of my favorites i think so far out of all of the dolls from the rainbow high universe my two favorites are still going to be lily chang and um heather grayson those are just my absolute favorites but i am definitely in love with these dolls and it's because of the face and the hair. It's not because of the outfit, obviously. Um, just because they look so pretty. I love this face sculpt and I love this hair. So anyway, I'm going to get going for right now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know what you think of these dolls down in the comments down below. And I hope I get to see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.